YouTube, we're here going over my makeup today, and I just received a package from Little Miss Artsy or Hannah with a bunch of makeup in it, so I used a lot of that today. So today is actually going to have some different stuff in it, which I'm sure you guys are very glad of because I use the same stuff every day. And in case you see him, Mo wanted to be in my lap, so I figured he could join us. And of course, as soon as I touch you, you have to get up in my face. Let me, let's get closer and don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Not while I'm talking, at least. Anyways, uh, today for primer, I actually use the Marinesse Sexy Eye Primer, Sexy Secret Eye Primer. Stop that. I can't, sw I'm not going to swatch it because it's, you know, skin tone, but it, it goes from like a liquid to powder finish, and I think that's really neat. I'm sorry, Booger eats makeup, so of course, as soon as he smells some, he wants to to get up in there, get all up in there and try to eat it. One thing that hasn't changed is my base, and that is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Beijing Beauty. Let's see, I'll let y'all get an actual look at the color. It's a lot like Barely Branded. I, I have a couple of colors that are like that, so I've, that's why I, that was in my project pan. And for my eye look today, I actually used the Sultry Chi Chi palette because it was sent to me and I couldn't resist. So I used this color, this little pink color, right here all over my lid. This is my highlight. And this is my, excuse you, and this is my outer crease color. And that is the look today. I threw some stuff back in the basket without thinking about it. I used just a little bit of eyeliner today, or less for me, we'll say, my Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner. My eyebrows are the same as always. It is the Jordana Febby Brow and Taupe and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And my mascara is the Physician's Formula Sexy Boost. It's already starting to get clumpy on me, which is kind of annoying, because I've only had it open for like two weeks. Anyways, my face primer is the Benefit Professional. My foundation continues to be the mixture of the Revlon Color Stay and the Revlon Age Defy. That is starting to get a little oily, actually, so I may not be doing that again, or I may not be putting as much in there again because it's starting to separate a little, which is freaking me out. Uh, concealer. My eye concealer was actually the Miraness Touch On Concealer. It is in Golden Cream. So I'm trying that out today. It has a little squeezy tube applicator, so I just squeezed them out of my finger and then applied it. It's very brightening. I wasn't expecting it, I was expecting it more to straight conceal, and it's very brightening, which is what I usually use anyway, but there's that. I didn't actually wear my Revlon concealer today, like my face concealer, because I didn't really feel like going through the effort, and I don't really need it. Set everything with my e.l.f. powder. This will be my touch-up powder. It's the Wet n Wild by Fergie if I end up needing it. <sighs> Let's see. I used my NARS bronzer in Laguna to contour. I used my e.l.f. aerial bronzer, which did pop back up in my Walgreens, so I might go buy a backup of it. I used this to warm up my face. Blush is something new. I used the Savvy by... I called it D8 in my video, but I think it's DB, classic blush, in petal. And you all have, I only had to like dip the brush for each cheek and it like just tap it twice, and that was all that I needed. It's really pigmented. My highlight was the same. It was the Be a Bombshell, the One Stick, and Girl Crush. My lips were very different today because I went with the Chi Chi. Oh, good lord, this thing has a long freaking name. Is the Viva La Diva Matte Lipstick by Chi Chi. I will never remember that. It doesn't say it anywhere on here. I know it does, I'm stupid. It says it right here, the Viva La Diva Chi Chi. And it's a matte lipstick and it is in the color Game On. Here it is on my lips. And I'm not usually much of a matte lip wearer, so it's definitely fun to play with. Definitely stays for put. It feels a tiny bit drying, but you know, matte lipsticks do, so that's not a big deal. 
may just put a lip balm on over it. Uh, set with my D Slick setting spray, and my perfume for the day is Pure by DNKY. And I think this might end up being one that I will just look into buying. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thank you for tuning in today, and I will see you later. Bye. Say bye for a butt. Hi guys, it's Lena, and it's Thursday, so just coming in with a quick little makeup update. And the Mo update, of course. He's still here. Anyways, uh, most of this is very similar. Uh, my eye primer was Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden. My base was the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour by Eye Studio in Beijing Beauty. It's from the Spring Nudes Collection, in case you were curious. It's a limited edition. I'm using my Chi Chi Sultry palette again today. I used this color all over my lid, this in my outer corner, this as my inner corner highlight, and this as my brow bone highlight. And I actually wound up using my bronzer as a crease color. Today it is Nars' Laguna. So that is my contour as well, so I don't have to grab it again. And here is the finished result. Let's see. Um, eyeliner. I did Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner on my lid. I used my Wet n Wild Color Icon in my what you call it, uh, waterline and tight line. And then on my bottom lash line, I actually used my NYC Showtime Glitter Eyeliner and Paparazzi Purple. Because that needs some more love. For my eyebrows, yes, as always, it is the Jordana Fabi Brow Liner in 01 Taupe and the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Clear Brow Gel. Oh, and before I forget, again, my mascara is the Physician's Formula Sexy Boost Mascara. Now for the rest of my face. Uh, my facial primer is Benefits Professional. My foundation is from my little cup. It is the Revlon Colorstay in Ivory and the Revlon Age in Tender Beige. My concealers are the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Primer and the Revlon Photo Ready. Powder today, I just went with the Wet n Wild Fergie Powder just so I didn't have to deal with the Elf big giant box of horrors. It is the Take On The Day Mattifying Primer, pa not Primer, Powder. Uh, the NARS Laguna was my contour. The ELF Aerial Bronzer is my been warming up bronzer for the week. My blush today. Uh, my base was the Benefit Lolly Tint. And my powder blush was the S Smooch Blusher by War Paint Cosmetics that Hannah sent me. Just this pretty pink right here. It's the one that also has the kind of NARS smooth packaging. Hmm. Oh, my um, highlighter. What did I do with you? Well, it's the same. Here it is. It's the Be a Bombshell, the One Stick, and Girl Crush that I've been using to try and use up. And my lips today are the Maybelline Baby Lips in Quench. And the Bourgeois Shine Edition in number 24. It's kind of like a Revlon lip butter, but they're from Australia, so you can't get them here in America. This is what it looks like on my lips. And of course, I set everything with my Urban Decay D Slick, and today my perfume continues to be the Pure by DNKY sample that I have. And that's it, so I will see you later. Okay. So, some of the things are the same as always, you know, my eye primer, Urban Decay in Eden. My base, the Color Tattoo in Beijing Beauty from the Spring 2014 Limited Edition Collection. Uh, this is my last day for a while wearing the Sultry Chi Chi palette. I just wanted to get in the looks that I could. Today I am wearing this on my eyelid. 
this color in my outer corner, the bronzy one. This is my brow bone highlight, and this is my inner corner highlight. And my chocolate soleil is my crease color. See, my eyeliner today is just the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner. And I did actually use a little bit of this dark brown right here to smooth it out. Rather than using a black. See mascara, this Physician's Formula thing, Sexy Boost, which I'm starting to get really annoyed at because it's already going clumpy on me. I have to sit here and fight with it for five minutes. My eyebrows, or the Georgiana Febby Brow and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Oh, uh, primer, my professional. And today, I actually, for foundation, I actually wore my sample of the Kat Von D Locket Foundation in Light 46. Because that is part of my Finish 5 by Fall. Concealers. Same as always, this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector is my eye concealer. My Revlon Photo Ready is my face concealer, although I really didn't need much because of the Kat Von D. Oh, um, uh, Vegas Vixen pointed out something to me yesterday in the video for this for last week, and that my Chocolate Soleil actually fits in this little palette that she gave me. So I popped it into that. That was my contour today, plus my eye crease color. So that was neat to learn, so I don't have to have that little package anymore. I actually, the other part of the blush that I had that was right here, I popped it into the Chocolate Soleil's old packaging just so it had somewhere to be right now. Because I really don't want to lose that or break it or anything like that. My, my all-over bronzer is my e.l.f. Aerial Bronzer. It's actually called Surf's Up, if you're curious. I saw this at Walgreens again recently, so if you want it, you better go look for it. I'm actually starting to wear it down a little bit. Like, I've taken off the e.l.f. emboss that's over in one corner. I think I might buy myself a backup of that while it's still there. My highlighter today, I actually used something different, because I just wanted something different. I used the Buxom Divine Goddess Luminizer that I got in a sample package. This is a highlighter you can also use to like mix in with your foundation if you're craving a luminous glow. But to me, it just gave like a subtle highlight today that I thought was pretty. And lips today, I actually did not, oh, I forgot my blush. I used my Sleek Blush in Pixie Pink. If I can get it open, I will show it to you. That's it right there, very pretty. And for my lips, I used my Maybelline Baby Lips and Quenched, as always. But for my actual color, I actually went with something that I bought recently. It is the NYC City Duet 2-in-1 Lip Color in the Red Hots. So it's got, it's a little dirty right now, but it's got this pink on one side and this red on another. So I just went all over with the red, and then I kind of highlighted my lips with the pink, basically. And for a gloss, I went with my Colorish Balm in Heavenly Berry by L'Oreal. And my perfume is Pure by DNKY again, because I really love that. And if you are curious, I repainted my nails yesterday with the polish that Hannah sent me. It is the Face of Australia polish in Magneto. And it's actually one of my favorite colors. So she really nailed me right there getting that. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is my powder. I almost totally forgot that. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, it's Lena, and I'm here today with what I wore on my face. We do have a mo, because it is raining outside, and he is so not happy at the moment. But he gets to sit on the desk with me. So that makes him a little bit happier, although he is still highly upset. He does not like the rain, he does not like the thunder, and it is doing both right now really bad.
Anyways, what am I wearing on my face? Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, as per usual. Also, as per usual, the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Beijing Beauty from the Spring Nudes Collection. Let's see, today I am actually wearing from my Pan That Palette, surprisingly enough. Um, I did wear makeup on Saturday and I meant to film it when I got back from a party. But I had such a makeup meltdown and wasn't up to reapplying it afterwards that... But I wore my orange on Saturday anyway. Today is the important part. I'm wearing this color all over my lid. This in the crease. My Chocolate Soleil in... No wait, I'm wearing that dark green in my outer V. I'm wearing the Chocolate Soleil in my crease. And out of my Depotted Naked palette, I'm wearing Virgin as a highlight, and I'm use, I used Creep to set my eyeliner. And this is the end result. I was sitting here this while my eyes were shut thinking, I hope Mo didn't crawl right into the camera frame while I did that. He is highly unhappy, that's why he gets to actually be up on the desk. Anyways, uh, for mascara, I used my Physician's Formula Sexy Boost today. I had to actually add a couple of drops of contact solution into it because it was really drying out and I've only had it open for like a month. What? What? Oh, you shaking. For eyebrows, same as usual, part of my Finish 5 by Fall, the Jordana Fabi Brow in Taupe. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, which is not very clear anymore, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but oh well. Um, I switched my primer this week. I am now using the Laura Mercier Radiance Bronze Foundation Primer that I got as a 100 point perk from Sephora. But as far as a 100 point perk goes, this is actually a really good one. Not only is, you know, the actual product nice, but it's a good size sample. Uh, foundation, I used the l last bit of my Revlon Colorstay and Revlon Age Defy mix together because that's not enough for another application. So I'm going to rinse that out and s mix together some Revlon Colorstay and CoverGirl 3 in 1 for tomorrow. <sighs> I forgot to bring over my. Con eye concealer. It was the Neutrogena Eye Brightening Concealer in the Silver Tube that I always use. I didn't use any face concealer today because didn't really need it. Mo, oh, sit. Honey, sit. Oops. Come here. Is that what you want? I set my eye concealer with my Fergie Wet n Wild Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. And this is also my travel powder. But for all over my face, I used my e.l.f. high definition powder that is in my Finish 5 by Fall tag. For bronzer, for contour, I used my Chocolate Soleil. For bronzer, I switched that up this week as well. I'm using my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Bronzer Duo Dust Till Dawn. It's from it was limited edition, so you can't get it anymore, but it's nice. I just used the bronzer part to warm up my face a little bit. Uh, blush, I used the blush from the St. Lucia palette of e.l.f. Blush and bronzer. I used up all the bronzer. That's some of the blush. I have a whole other pan of it that I took out of here so I could put my uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in there. Let's see, highlight, I used the Be A Bombshell The One Stick in Girl Crush. That is what it looks like. Uh, lips, I have my Maybelline Baby Lips in Quenched On. And I, as I got as a point perk from Ipsy, I cashed in all my points. I Today I used my Bare Minerals Moxie Lipstick and I'll light it up. This lovely kind of corally color. And you... This is a lipstick that I love the formula of, but it is a little drying, so you really do need to put some kind of, you know, thin lip balm underneath it. Oh, I forgot to mention my eyeliner. It's just the Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeliner. And for a lip gloss, 
For my lovely friend Hannah, I am using the Miraness Velvet Lip Lift Moisture Shine in number 47. I thought that went with it very well. And I don't think I forgot anything else, so that is it. And we will see you later. Say bye, Mo. Bye. Lena, and I'm here on Tuesday telling you again what I'm wearing for the week. Some things are always going to be the same, although I'm getting really low on this. I might have to switch to something else soon. Uh, here is my primer potion from Urban Decay in Eden. And like I said, it's getting really low and hard to use. So I need to scrape it soon at least and get it all pulled into one spot. My, where's my base? You'd think I'd be organized, but I've told you guys, if I'm too organized, I'm a pod person and you should call for help. But here is my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Beijing Beauty that I use as a base. And today I got to use my repressed Models Prefer eyeshadow that I got from Hannah. Because if, I, I don't know if what's going to go up first, this or the actual unboxing video. I need to ask her if she's gotten her box yet. Because she's got to send hers out a few days before I did, so we got it on different days. I used this as the base. This all over my lid. This is the shadow I had to repress because it came to me all crumbled. I repressed it and it is in my crease and this is in my outer V. This was also my inner corner and brow bone highlight and I think it's, this color especially I'm in love with because it is a stunning highlight. My eyebrows are the same as freaking always. The Georgiana Fabi brow and the Anastasia brow gel clear brow clear because they're in my finish five by fall. Uh, my eyeliner today is one that I received from Ipsy in my drunk ass Ipsy bag, which y'all seem to have liked, so who knows. Maybe I'll drink a beer in my next one too. Uh, it is the Lord and Barry Silk Kajal Coal Liner in black. It's teeny tiny. And so far it seems nice. Uh, I'm just testing it out, see if it smudges or screws up or anything. As usual, I did set my liner with Urban Decay's uh, Creep from my Naked palette. I need to remember one of these days to test it out and then not specifically set it so I can see what it actually does. Because I've got in the habit of setting my liner because I learned it from Amber F. Hmm. Oh yeah, mascara. Mascara, uh, the other day, uh, Saturday actually, so yeah, I didn't get to film it. I was waiting on the, I have some cotton back and forth. I was waiting on my physician's formula to coagulate right because I dumped a couple drops of contact solution in it because it was drying out really bad. So I opened up my Benefit Bad Gal Lash. So I'm going to use them every other day until one dries out. Because I'm not, I only do the contact solution thing trick once with an eye mascara, not an eye mascara, just a mascara. Because if it dr keeps drying up, then it's not really worth bothering with, in my opinion. And okay, so let's go to face. Um, I, this week I'm using my Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance Bronze, which I had to be careful with because it is, let me show y'all just, you know, it is bronzy, it is freaking orange. So I could almost mix this in with my lightest foundation and just make it like a BB cream or something. And I've thought about doing that. So like on the weekend or something, if I ever actually remember to film on the weekends, Y'all might be getting to see something like that. Anyways, my foundation, I had to switch from, this is a mixture of my Revlon Colorstay. This is actually the last of my Revlon Colorstay in Ivory in the oily to combination skin. And my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. So I finished two foundations this year. Impressive. So that's gonna be going for a couple of days at least. Um, I used my, I have it over here this time, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector for my under eyes. And I did use a little bit of the Revlon Photo Ready on my cheeks and chin because they both get really red. See, I set my under eye concealer with my Wet n Wild Fergie's Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. And I set the rest of my face with my e.l.f. High Def Powder, which is in Finish Five by Fall, so... I'm trying to make sure that I use them both, at least once a day. But the Fergie is also my 
travel powder for like when I go when I'm out and about town and need a touch up. I have something caught in the back of my throat that I keep trying to swallow, and that's why I keep making faces. <sighs> Anyways, uh, bronzer. My contour bronzer was my NARS bronzer in Laguna. My uh, all over bronzer was but this week is my Wet n Wild Color Icon uh, Limited Edition Dust Till Dawn bronzer. It's this huge honker right here. Probably using that blush shade once or twice before I put it away and I almost chucked it across the room and broke it. <sighs> okay, that scared me to death. My blush today is the Coastal Sense Forever Blush sample that I was that was sent to me by Ipsy. Okay, it doesn't say on here what they are. Or it, no, it doesn't say on here what colors they are, but I looked it up online and now I just can't remember it. But I used this one as kind of a base and then I went back over it with this one. And they are actually really pigmented and you need to be careful with them if you got this as a sample. <laughs> So I noticed that people were like, eh, well, it's a tiny sample, and I was kind of like, eh, it's a tiny, it's kind of like a filler sample, but I still totally use it. These are super pigmented, you don't need to use a lot, and I know some people were complaining they couldn't get their brush in there. This is the brush that I use for blush, and you gotta got be a little careful, but you can do it just fine. People are bitchy. People are so bitchy about Ipsy. And I think it's a really awesome service. Anyways. Oh yeah, highlighter. Be a bombshell, the one stick and girl crush color. If you, for some reason, do not know. My lips, Maybelline baby lips and quenched. Today I'm wearing my L'Oreal glossy balm in baby berry. And for a little bit of extra gloss on top, I'm using the L'Oreal Colorish Balm in Heavenly Berry. It, it is pretty much dead. But I could still use it, so I'm still using it. And, no, that's not quite it. Um, I ran out of my Urban Decay oil, oil de-slick yesterday, so I'm using my little mini all-nighter. My perfume, I ran out of pure DNKY either yesterday or the day before, and I'm using Honey by Marc Jacobs, which I don't really like, but I want to use up the sample. And if you're curious as to what is on my nails, you know, the nails I didn't mess up, so these three, I nicked them when I was waiting for them to dry. I have Essie's Mint Candy Apple, and on top of them, I have the polish that I got from my Beauty Box 5. I will link my review of that down below. And unfortunately, because they are assholes and put white writing on it, I can't read it to tell you what it is. I think I said in the video, though, so I'm going to link it down below. Anyways, that is it. This was a long one because I'm rambling today. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys later. Bye. It's Thursday because I didn't wind up wearing makeup yesterday, so here's what I'm currently wearing. Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. I actually decided to scrape it all up and stick it in a corner after I used it today because it's getting a little hard to use. It does dry up a little bit in here, but when it is dries up a little bit, it actually works better as a primer, so go figure. <sighs> Let's see, where's my, there it is. Have my color tattoo in Beijing Beauty as a base, which I will probably forever have unless I'm going for a specific look. Um, I actually used most of my Project Pan palette today. Uh, I used this pink shade right here all over my lid. I used my Chocolate Soleil bronzer in my crease. And then I used my Make, my make It palette. My Naked palette for my highlight, which was Virgin. And, my, and to uh, set my liner, which was Creep. And here is the finished result. Just a really simple look today. Uh, my eyeliner was my Wet n Wild Color Icon in black. My eyebrows are going to be the same until they run out. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel Clear and the Jordana Fabu Brow in taupe although it is getting really small. Like, I might not be able to sharpen it too many more times really small, as is the wet and wild for that matter. 
And mascara, which I actually remember to put on in order today rather than having to go back, is the Physician's Formula Sexy Boost Mascara. And face. Um, I had to make another concoction. Today it is um, Revlon Color Stay in Ivory and uh, CoverGirl 3 in 1 and Creamy Natural. I have, to, I have to mix them together because neither one is quite the right color. Um, I, the only concealer I used today was the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Eye Brightening Perfector. But I also decided to try something out that I've had sitting as a sample in my little ba in my basket for a while. This is the Miracle Blur Instant Eye Smoother that I used. It actually has a coupon on the back for any Provide a Lift product. So I'm testing that out today to see how it works. It did go on really smoothly, but let's see if it keeps this from sinking into creases any more than it already does. Powder. Um, I set my concealer with my Wet n Wild Ferdy Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. I set the rest of my face with my ELF HD Powder. Uh, bronzer was the Chocolate Soleil for contour and my Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Bronzer. Uh, this is a limited edition summer one in Dusk Till Dawn. I use it over here to avoid the blush, and it's actually starting to show a little wear, which I thought was kind of neat. My blush is my e.l.f. blush from the e.l.f. blush and bronzer palette. Let me just pick it out so I can show it to you. And this is it right here. And my highlight. My highlight was the Be A Bombshell The One Stick. And my lips today were the Baby Lips and Quenched, because I put that on pretty much every day. Uh, the Mica Beauty Cosmetics Tinted Lip Balm in Natural that I had to scrape out of the pot because the pot broke. And for gloss, my Colorish Balm Stain in Heavenly Berry. Oh, here's my primer. It is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance Bronze. I set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray that I have. And where's my perfume? Here it is. My perfume is Honey by Marc Jacobs. So that's it. Thank you for tuning in. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye.